moving swiftly on. Welcome back to another tutorial. So, this is going to be another drawing tutorial, and we're going to be having a look at how to draw a butterfly. So, if you're interested in learning how to draw a butterfly, stick around. Let's get crafting. Right then, let's have a look at drawing a butterfly. So, we're going to start with um, a little circle. This is going to be the head. So, I want mine to be about that size. So, we start with a circle, and then we're going to do a body. So, we're going to draw coming down here, kind of like a carrot, like a carrot shape, but we're not going to make it super duper long. So we're going to draw a bit of a carrot shape-ish, like that. And then uh, our next step is going to be looking at the wings. So our wings, that everything is going to come from here. So to start with, we're going to draw a straight line going both ways. Do it lightly, really lightly, because we're going to have to rub this out so that it looks nice at the end. And then what we're going to do is, starting from this dot in the middle, we're going to draw a diagonal line up to here. So we're going to go like this and just draw a nice straight line up there and we're going to do the same going the other way, like that. Okay, so that's going to be where our top of our wing is going to be. So we're now going to go down from here to here to join up to make it into a triangle like that and do the same on the other side. Now you need to try and make this wing as long as this wing so I'm just going to measure it with my fingers and do that because I know that that's roughly about right. You could use a ruler, they can use a pencil, quite often you'll see people using the pencil and we're going to go up like that to give us our two um, wing shapes. And our next step is to look at where our bottom uh, two wings are going to go. So again, it's going to come out of this point again. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to do a diagonal line coming down. But this time it's going to go closer to the body. So we're probably going to aim for about there. So my line is going to go down. Like that. Yeah. Like that. Same on the other side, I'm going to about there. So we're going to go down like that. Like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to join up from here to here to create our triangle for our bottom wing. And the same on this side here. Again, as I said, you do need to try and make them um, as symmetrical. So now we know how big our wings are going to be, we can start actually making them look um, a little bit more like a butterfly's wing shape because you know we, we know that butterfly's wings aren't actually triangles um, but they are roughly that shape. So what we're going to do is we're now going to turn this into um, a wing by curving it. So we're not going to follow that line but we are going to end up here. So we're going to start here and we're going to curve just above this line like that. You'll notice as usual that I'm not trying to do it in one nice line. I'm, I'm taking my time and I'm sketching up using really light lines because if it's not right I can move it out really easily. Until I get to the top here. And when I get to the top here I'm then going to do like a m, a small m like that. So I'm going to find the middle which is about there and I'm going to fire on my line I'm going to go in like that and then to the bottom of my triangle like that and then when I get to the bottom here again I'm not going to follow this line but I am going to use it as a bit of a what we call a reference so, so I can know where I'm going. I'm aiming for here because that's where it meets the body but I'm just going to curve my line all the way around until I meet the body like that. And 
that is going to be the wing on this side. And that is the top of our wing. So if you wanted to now, you can rub out those lines there so that you can see the shape of the top of this wing. It's already looking pretty good. So now we're going to do this bottom. We obviously do exactly the same on the other side. Uh, this bottom wing is probably a little bit simpler, um, I would say. So we're going to start here, not quite where they meet, just a little bit in like that. And we're again, we're going to use this as an idea or as a reference, but we're not actually going to follow it. We're going to start here and we're going to curve down to here. So we're going to go like this. And we're going to curve until we get to the bottom here. Like so. And then when we get to the bottom, we're going to again curve. We're not following this line, but we're using it as a, as a, as a rough bit of guidance and then curve and then back up to the body and we're going to meet or we're going to finish our line where this line meets the body like so and that is going to be the basic shape of our bottom wing going to do the same on the other side and then we'll come back. So I've copied onto the other side what we've done on this side and as you can see mine isn't perfectly symmetrical but I'm, I'm not really too worried about it because firstly it's going to look good anyway uh, and secondly you know we're, we're practicing so it doesn't need to be perfect uh, every time and as long as every time you draw something it's getting a little bit better then you know we're on to a bit of a winner there. So I have also gone and rubbed out the lines on the inside, the triangle lines and the ones in the middle and I've just quickly touched up some of the lines by going back over them. Uh, so now we need to add some antennae. Super easy part, so I'm just going to start here and we're just going to go and do a little curved flicky line and just make it a little bit thicker like that. On one side and one on the other. Perfect, you make them as long or as short as you like. Uh, and we're also going to put a couple of eyes on the side, so. Oh, I made a funny noise there, my throat did. I'm going to put two eyes on the side like that. And we're also, onto the body, going to add some curved lines like this. So, so now we've kind of got our basic shape of our butterfly, we've got our, our wings, we've got our body and we've got our antennae and our eyes on. What we need to do now is look at um, decorating the wings. Right, so decorating the wings, you can do this in absolutely any way you like, there is no right or wrong way, you could Google um, you could go on Google Pictures and Google Butterfly and have a look at some so you can try and do it like that. Or you could go out in your garden and try and take a photo of one, although they're quite, um, quite tricky to get a picture of. But uh, the way I'm going to do it is, is just sort of a general way of decorating it. So we're going to start here and we're going to follow this line like this. Follow it and then we're not going to go right to the end, then we're going to curve around. And it's like a big long teardrop. And then we're going to come back to there, like so. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then what I'm going to do on this side is I'm going to follow this line again. But I'm going to only go up to the top of here. And when I get to the top of here, I'm going to stop like that. Then what I'm going to do is on the bottom, I'm going to follow this line until we get to near the edge of there. And I'm gonna curve and I'm gonna come all the way back, but straight back to that line there. And then I'm gonna leave a little gap and then I'm gonna do the same again, a little bit higher and go back again. 
And again, I'm going to leave a little gap and I'm going to do one more. Like that. So you should have one, two, three. Make that one a little bit thicker. Doesn't look quite right, but that's fine. I'm going to get rid of that line in a moment. I'll also rub out there and there um, once I've gone over it in my pen. And in the top here, I'm just going to add, um, well, you could add anything. I'm going to add just a circle, I think. So I'm just going to draw a circle to take up that space and put another little circle inside of it. I like that. And that is going to be pretty much all I'm going to do on that wing for now. And this wing coming down here, we're going to start again from here. And I'm going to follow this line again. Follow it out until we get to here and then I'm going to follow this line next and then I'm going to curve when I get to about halfway curve it back to that line there and then I'm going to start here and I'm going to come down this line again until I get the loads. This time I'm going to almost to the bottom and I'm going to curve back. And this time I'm going to do kind of the same as we've done on this one a really long teardrop. I do apologise if the lighting is a little bit weird. Um, it's not quite as sunny outside as it normally is when I record a video, so I'm getting shadows from the lights that I'm using. Um, hopefully, it's not too annoying. And you can still see everything. So I'm going to have that one there. And then in the middle, I'm just going to add, I'm going to follow this curve like that, I'm going to follow this curve and I'm just going to make like an, almost like an axe head shape like that just to fill in that nice gap there. And then I'm going to draw here, I'm just going to draw some little circles. Uh, I don't think I'm going to add anything else onto that wing. I think I'm just going to do the same on the other side. Right, so I'm just going to rub out all the lines I don't need now, which is all of the pencil lines. As long as I've let it dry, which I have, you don't need to be very careful where you rub because you can just rub everywhere and hope that all the pencil lines disappear, which they should because I've made, made sure I've pressed very softly and I've been sketching. And there we go, where we've got our basic lady, uh, sorry not ladybird, butterfly outline. Gonna give it a little bit of colour so we can see what it might look like. So I've just finished colouring in our butterfly. I've used pencil crayon today instead of um, felt tips. I much prefer actually using um, pencil crayons because I do think it gives it a nicer, a nicer softer look um, and also it's a bit more forgiving because you can always rub stuff out if it goes wrong. So that's our uh, butterfly finished. Hopefully you've got something looking a little bit like that. Hopefully you've enjoyed having a go at learning how to draw a butterfly and it's ended up looking something like this. And now if you've had a go and you'd like to show me, please feel free to ask your parents to send it to me via email. And if you've got any ideas for tutorials, you can also send me them on there. So until next time, keep on crafting.